guys. Oh my gosh. It's real, it's happening. I'm here. Hey. Hey, it's me, T. Marie, and welcome to my channel. It's the first video of 2019, and I'm so excited because I haven't set up anything in a really, really long time. Happy New Year 2019 to all y'all. Okay, so I'm just gonna get into this video, and first of all, I wanna say if you are watching this video, I love you. Thank you for your support, and thank you for being super patient with me, because I said I was posting a lot of videos last year, and I didn't, and I apologize, but when the time comes that I was gonna post those, I'll probably end up posting them this year. We'll see. So you guys already know what this video is about. Side note, I don't know how often I'm going to be uploading videos this year because of the nursing program, but I do plan on making it a lot more frequent than I did because this is my visual diary, so. Woo. So I guess we're just gonna get to it and answer a bunch of questions. First question, what are your 2018 blessings? 2018 was a good year and a bad year, but in the end it was still a good year because a lot of good came out of it. A lot of personal growth, a lot of spiritual growth, a lot of reconnecting and bonding and all that stuff and revelations. I traveled to Seattle, which was amazing. I loved it. I will totally want to go back again. It was so beautiful. I was able to compete there, which was also fun. Living the tourist life was like the best thing ever, being over there. And the rain, I did not mind it. It was so cold, because I get cold easily, but I loved it. I managed to check off a bucket list item from my dance bucket list, and that was to dance for World of Dance. So I did dance for World of Dance in 2017. I was able to compete for World of Dance's 10 year anniversary. I didn't post that vlog either, so my apologies. It was really fun. It was so great to just be able to share the stage with all these amazing dancers and teens. And we didn't place, we, I think we got fourth place, but it was still so worth it. And it was such a great experience. I would totally love to do it again. I was able to perform for Carnival's 300th show that was really cool and I think Janet Jackson was there fun fact I might go to Carnival this month I don't know if I should say that but I think Janet Jackson's gonna be there again so uh what <laughs> I can't pass up the offer I was able to meet Gabriel Iglesias and I joined it's kind of like on the side but I was able to kind of be part of a little project that they did thank you sweetness for that for bringing me along. <laughs> but Disneyland, Disneyland was one of my highlights of 2018 because Disneyland for Valentine's Day was bomb and I just enjoyed the day. It was a beautiful day and there's a vlog for it. So if, oh no, it's, there's no vlog. I did a cover of a song and then at the end I put like a little montage of the day so you guys can go check that out when you want. Yeah. I choreographed and was able to teach class back at my old high school, which was also really fun. The turnout was big, and I was not expecting that many students to come out, so I was really blessed to be able to share my creativity with all the youngins. The youngins, the future generations, which was awesome. And I love you guys for coming. I didn't post that vlog either, sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I am a college graduate, 2018. I graduated college. I managed to graduate. I have an AA, A, A, A. I have an AA in health science, and I don't know what to do with it yet. But hopefully, I find something to do. Cause, girl, your girl is a college graduate. She needs to get her ish together. I had a lot of growth as a dancer. I had a lot of spiritual growth as well as a person. Freestyles, choreography, just getting out there and building my confidence. I was able to grow deeper in the Word of God and finding my relationship with Him. I, I managed to lose that connection throughout 2018. I think that's why another reason it was kind of hard for me, but I managed to... Um, there was one service where I just bawled and it was just very spiritually awakening for me. I went to the Lantern Festival with my family. I should post... There's like... A, I'll put like a video or something right here. That was one of my favorite highlights, just spending my time with my family and being able to do those lanterns and like dedicate it to us, to my growth, to 
people who passed away to my loved ones it was just such a very powerful night i started nursing core nursing core nursing core yes i am a nursing student if none of you guys knew that now you know i am a nursing student which is also a reason why i probably won't be posting a lot of videos because i'm going to be studying a lot but i was able to finish all my G's and I'm so excited because I got my duffel and I got my stethoscope, I got my pen light and I'm such a nerd. I was able to start clinicals and now my clinicals rotations were amazing. I'm in nursing core. I'm, I'm going to be a nurse soon. I probably am forgetting some stuff. Maybe I'll put like a list right here of stuff that I forgot, but a good highlight of my year was being able to get closer with sweetness and my family and even though it was a hard tough year we all had major eye-opening moments and I'm so grateful for everything that I learned I'm so grateful for all the growth that I had I was able to spend all of the events throughout the year with my entire family that was a really like major thing that I loved. Being able to be with my family at Christmas and New Year's was wonderful, especially because everybody was there. It's very rare for everybody to be there at the event because someone has work or something happens or something. And just being in that loving environment was just so great. It was so, it was so wonderful. It was so heartwarming and I love my family and family, if you are watching this, I want you to know that I love you guys and I want to thank you guys so much for not giving up on me in 2018 and still pushing to fight for me and loving me. And yeah. <laughs> what is something you learned in 2018 that you will take with you to 2019? And if I forget anything, here's a list again of things that I would like to stress. Yes. One would be you won't know you're in a toxic environment unless you take a step back. I was involved in things throughout the year that I, now looking back at it, I'm not super proud of, but it happened and it shaped me into the person I am today, so I have no regrets. But I wish that I would have been able to handle certain things better. I learned that sometimes tough decisions have to be made, but it's not a matter of forcing somebody to do it. You have to find it within yourself to make that sacrifice or decide it for yourself for a better future. Be open to heartbreak, heartache. Be open to feeling because if you bottle up all your feelings inside, if you try to disguise it or hide from it, you don't benefit from it. You're basically just waiting for a moment to explode and then when you explode, it's not worth it. Your successes come at the cost of your sacrifices. A decision is a decision and you have to own up to what you decided and move forward from there. This is a very important one. I would, I would like to stress for believers and non-believers out there watching this video, I am a Christian and I believe in God and the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, all of that and I, my faith, my heart belongs to Jesus. And one lesson that I want to remember from 2018 that I'm pushing on to 2019 is God is definitely greater than the highs and lows. No matter what is going on in your life, whether it be good or bad, we have to give all the glory to God. We have to make sure that all that we do is to glorify his name. A hard one, people don't change right off the bat. People make mistakes and it is our duty to forgive them. Sometimes it's better to love people from a distance. There are people who say things and the truth is actions do speak louder than words. And I learned that <laughs> even though people speak loyalty, they speak honor and trust sometimes taking a step back from it and just loving the person from a distance isn't a bad thing and you shouldn't live life with regrets you should seize the moment step out of your comfort zone and challenge yourself and if it
it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But you know, it never hurts to try. Who was the last person you held hands with? Sweetness. I'm not gonna put names on this, but um, yeah. Sweetness was the last person I held hands with. What am I most self-conscious about? given up on someone but then gone back to them yes I have because I have a big heart <laughs> and I don't like giving up on people I like to try and see the good in them and I really believe that people can change and be better people so I wouldn't want anyone to give up on me so I wouldn't want to give up on anybody else with that said though it isn't bad to love someone from a distance. However you take that. Because <laughs> I have been able to find peace with that concept through that phrase. What is the most childish thing you do? <laughs> okay, there are a couple. One, I keep all of my plushies since I was like youngin'. They're everywhere. <laughs> I, I don't like giving them away and I collect them and I give them all really cute names. I make weird noises. For the people who know me, like know me, know me, you know, I have my own language. A little crash course. Like when I say, huh, I'm really upset. Or, hmm, huh. You know, have you ever felt like, huh, uh, when I say, we, <laughs> or like, we, it's like, yay, I'm happy, or something. So funny saying this and describing it. <laughs> my point was, I make weird noises and they all have different meanings. Do you think you'll be in a relationship two months from now? Hmm. That is a good question. Next question. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, <laughs> to be honest, I'm more in a position to be like, Jesus, take the wheel. Just gonna give it to God and let him take the wheel on that portion of my life. If I am, I am. If I'm not, I'm not. And just trust in the path that he has for me. What is something that people think you would never do, but you have? Drink. I'm 21. I, I, I've had a drink or two. What is the most embarrassing thing your parents have caught you doing? It's so funny because the first thing that pops into my head is marble in the nose. Marble in the nose. And that is exactly what it sounds like. Or, or beads in the ear. That's a good one too. But in order to hear that story, you guys gotta meet my mom, so sorry. Why did you break up with your last boyfriend? I wrote this and I don't remember writing it. Oh my gosh. Okay. There was a mutual understanding and we both understood both sides to it and understood that it was not gonna continue. What body part are you most, most uncomfortable with? Was uncomfortable with can I tell you guys my most comfortable body part because I love calves like I have a thing for calves oh calves such a beautiful body part does anyone else understand this because I I don't know if you really get my level like I, calves are a beautiful body part uncomfortable body part though I I can't really say that I I, I think of a body part as uncomfortable I feel like if you make it uncomfortable it will be uncomfortable but I I, I don't make any body part uncomfortable oh actually maybe this body part okay so I'm gonna show you guys there's like this divot that happens back here do you see it <laughs> I think that's kind of weird oh okay yes I think that's weird whoa I just cr I like actually cringed trying to show that to you guys wow I think I just answered all the questions so yeah okay so anyway that's my video I don't know how long this video ended up being I keep looking at myself sorry I'm, I'm, I'm just checking myself out okay it's actually gonna die so I just wanted to do the outro really quick um, thank you guys for watching this video I love you all and I hope you guys have a blessed 2019 I'm so excited for you guys to join me on this journey because I'm in nursing and I'm gonna be taking you guys on that 
Okay, so it died. <laughs> I just wanted to end the vlog here and say thank you guys for whoever asked the questions. I didn't answer all of them, so sucks to suck, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For those of you who want to join in on this journey through 2019, like and subscribe. I will be posting more videos. Next week, I am actually going to be posting my January vlog, so that's exciting. If you guys have any ideas as to what you want me to try this year, I am very open to it. I just, I'm also in the nursing program, so life is going to be a little hectic, but yeah, okay, I'm going to go now. I hope you guys like this video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Remember, it's never goodbye, so I'll see you later.